everyone Christian back with another palm review and for this one we are going to be doing Hyphaene natalensis. Now uh, Hyphaene is a unique genus in that it is uh, it is one is I believe it's the only genus of palms that actually branches dichotomously meaning that it'll actually branch like at, up in the air above ground level so you have clumping palms and then you have branching palms and the only branching palms that do currently uh, that i believe actually currently exist are hyphenes their closest relative is going to be bismarckia and you can kind of tell by the leaflets and if you've ever seen bismarckia flowers you can kind of see they have a similar seed now uh like bismarckia's hyphenes are dioecious so that means that they require both a male and a female to produce seed. This one is a female, so there are no males around. So this seed is actually just uh, what we call a pseudo seed. It's just a, a bunk seed that you can see the flower bract. And those are just coming off. These are kind of just producing just fake matter. And I mean, that's the proper size for them, but there's no way they would have been pollinated. You can see those right there. And this one had four heads on it. My friend uh, cut one down for the sake of uh, there was other there, there was another palm in the way. He didn't want it to get in the in that way. But it also has uh, extremely extremely large spines that are basically like razors. So leaning against this palm or touching the petioles is not recommended. It also has a lot of tomentum, which I'm, by that I mean fuzz, growing both on the petioles and on the uh, the flower bracts. And it has this uh, white, white and black sort of zebra look to it. And this this particular species is native to the uh, Natal province in South Africa, but it will also grow further north in in Southern Africa, all the way up into uh, Central African uh, plain savannas. And it really grows near kind of oases. It's kind of like a a southern version of of the of the uh, date palm where it grows in desert like conditions or semi arid conditions um, and it seems to grow better when there's more groundwater available and speaking of that this palm uh, pro benefits the most from um, from watering down below it doesn't like a lot of water in the crown and sometimes it doesn't do well in Florida because of this when we get those heavy rains and let's see if you can see a little close up of the zebra striping on this one here it's pretty nice uh, this palm used to be about three feet tall and was acquired for a small price and planted in the ground and seven or eight years later this is what you get and this is a well-fed plant and well taken care of and it's it's very neat it does it does make a good uh centerpiece for a garden it does require some maintenance as it is not self-cleaning and it is uh, multiple heads and it is thorny it's not going to be the most up close it's not the best palm but from afar it is quite a quite a specimen and it is quite cold hardy these grow uh, pretty well in um in i would say zone nine all the way down to n maybe some more parts of 9a but definitely 9b this grows well in tampa and orlando uh in those areas so um you know, as you can see, the, se the seeds of this plant, of this palm, are interesting. They have this gingerbread-like outer coating, which is best to be cleaned off, but you don't have to. When I get these seeds, I try to get them in the summertime, and I will just let them sit somewhere where they will get uh, rained down on, and they will eventually pop out a, uh, a, a big root, like Bismarckia, but they don't like to be grown in... Um, like in a, in a closed container like Bismarcky does because of the outer coating. I don't try to, I don't usually clean it at all. Usually the root just kind of grows inside that little gingerbread. I wish I had one to, to show. I have one at the house and I might try and do like a separate video on that, but I might not be, uh, they're kind of older seed, but we'll see if I can, uh, if I can pull that off as far as getting, making sure the seed is still intact. So, um, there are many species of hyphaene, and I'm not going to be able to go through all of them because all of them don't uh, are not in cultivation here. There's other ones. Hyphaene in general is native to uh, Central and Southern Africa, um, and goes all the way into West Africa too. Actually, West Central Africa, and uh, it is called the gingerbread palm or the duum palm. And some specimens with about 30 or 40 heads are not uncommon um, growing out in the wild, and they're quite beautiful specimens. Uh, they really 
are striking, although you won't see that in cultivation. That's more of a very old plant that uh, is just kind of left to, to do its own thing. So um, anyway, yeah, like I said, the, the closest relative to this is going to be Bismarckia. And as shown by obvious, sorry, some horse flies. Um, and it's going to grow, it has similar climate uh, requirements, you know, it likes it kind of uh, high and dry, but it does like a lot of water coming through its its, uh, its roots. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that there for the sake of not getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. But I hope you did enjoy it. This is a beautiful uh, plant, even though it is a higher maintenance one. Um, go ahead and uh, leave a uh, comment or uh, question if you have any about hy hyphene in general. And uh, go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy these videos and would like to watch some more. And have a nice day.